Welcome to the greatest map on MWR. Wet work. Takes zero skill, only luck, where people are just run down the middle and throw three grenades. <laughs> the greatest map ever created. I can't be the only one who likes this map. I mean, I'm the only one who ever dropped two helicopters on it. So, uh, <laughs> that being said, we got a 2v4 situation. Well, now it's 1v4, seeing that my guy's dead, but... Look, this is, this is a prime example of how bad I am at the game. Like, how sloppy I am, how bad I am. This, this is a prime example, guys. Check it out. I don't know how to snipe. I don't know how to shoot. I don't know what I'm doing. I have zero idea what the heck even goes on in this game. Look. Jesus. Um, and then the dude come around and just tomahawks me with a sniper rifle and just gives me the headbutt. <laughs> and then I don't know what you want to call it this. Whatever this is. You know. But uh, that wasn't a pretty first round. I was super sloppy. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Just a prime example of this. Uh, I suck. I need a lot of help. A lot of help. So what? We got a 4v4. This is wet work. Um, like I said, dudes, you walk to the middle, you throw three frags, and you hope that you get a kill or two, or three, or four. I mean, I don't know. I This is typically how I do play it. I use SMGs. Um, I run down. I throw three frags. If I get stunned, I get naded. Bam! And that's how the cookie crumbles. But, uh, yo, how, how, what do you guys do on this map? Do you guys have a strategy? Do you guys use M16s, ARs? Do you chill back for a little bit, pick people off? Do you snipe? What do you guys do? I typically run SMGs. Like I mentioned, I usually just run down the middle and throw a couple of grenades, man. That is, Jesus. I usually just hope for some luck. That's, uh, that's my strat, baby. <laughs> that's what I do. For the ones that... Don't use three frags. What do you usually do? Do you sit with, back with bandolier? Um, do you still run down the middle? How do you get around people that run three frags? Or if you're facing like a six man and it, they have 18 grenades, what do you typically do? How do you get around that? Um, I mean, I guess there's only a few options. Yeah, you either get lucky and get through, you sit back, wait for those nades, you count each individual nade that's thrown and blown up. I mean, there's a couple ways around it, obviously, but, um, yo, go on and let me know how you actually run this map. Do you have a better strategy than I do, just running down the middle um, and just tossing a couple of nades, or is there a better way to do this? Let me let me know, guys. Give me the intel. I want to know the secrets. I mean, at this point in time, look, my strategy worked. I was able to get two grenade kills, pick off another one with my gun, and at this point, I think the other one's sniping in the back, so I was able to get a free plant. Um... Uh, yeah, I know. It's it's a joke. This map is a joke. Three frags is a joke. The, it, this whole just this whole video is gonna be a joke. Like, why am I even creating a video off of wet work, right? Like, why? What a waste of time. If you guys want to talk about something more serious, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. Go check it out. It's a video on my double choppers, back-to-back -back choppers on this map in Search and Destroy. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. Go check it out, guys. Let me know what you think about it. I mean, at least this guy's having fun in the spawn doing 360s down the stairs, right? I don't know what he's doing, but thank you for the uh, the kill. Uh, what is it, 5v4 right now? We're down one round. It's 1-2. to two. Um, I just picked up a UAV, so that's good. You guys ever get those feelings in games where you're just like, you know you're going to drop at least like 15 kills. You know you're going to just at least drop like a good amount of points and uh, just, I don't know, have just a good game in general. It's kind of the feeling I had with this one. Um, especially having sitting on six kills already and, and being down around uh, and then dropping two bombs and then another one right now it's like you know something's gonna go down you just have those gut feelings it's happened before you know what I mean we got the bomb down right there so I know that they don't have it I know that they're not gonna be fucking around and trying to quick plan you know what I mean so uh, this guy's on last stand well, and then we pick up the last one we just got our airstrike uh, wet work, there's not many places to drop it. It's really all about timing, too. Um, I usually, it'll show you where I place it, but I either put it on the left side or the right side for obvious reasons. Um, if you're in a bigger party, if you're facing people that are on a five or six man, 
uh, what's a good thing to do is kind of hang on to it and see where they're going to sit and shoot if they're picking on people, if they wait a little bit. You know, waiting like 45 seconds into the round. Um, wait until they kind of get set up, maybe move out of the spawn in hopes that you're going to call it sooner in the round. Um, but uh, a good thing is if you don't hit it right away, you can just kind of hit it around the, uh, the stairs, you know what I mean? It's a good little safe spot after the round has started already where people like to go to head glitch, move up and down, ship left and right, you know what I mean? This time, I held on to my airstrike and then I decided to drop it on the only two people that are alive still. Um, I, <laughs> I ended up getting lucky enough to get both of them, so that was kind of cool. I dropped my first airstrike to pick up a second airstrike by wiping the last two guys out. That was kind of cool. So we ended up getting another airstrike. I think we're sitting on what we got, 16 kills. Um, the rest of the team just, I guess they're not showing up today. I don't know if they're on recess, they're on break. They're just, uh, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not complaining here. And uh, like I mentioned, there's only very few places to drop it, especially based off of timing when everyone's running out of the spawn jumping down those stairs on the other side and just running down either left deck or right deck. So uh, typically you'll maybe get one or two. It's very rare that, I mean, everyone runs down one side. I mean, it happens, believe me. But typically I guess all you really hope for is like one or two kills with the airstrike is pretty solid. We ended up getting one kill with the airstrike. We got that one guy who goes into last stand and uh, it, it looks like the last two people are probably in their own spawn still. I'm not quite sure. That's why I was kind of checking around to see if anything was spawn key. They're sitting in corners, didn't really know. But uh, at this point, I was like, yeah, either one's AFK or they're both just, you know, just uh, sitting up there in a little spawn area. And uh, please excuse my um, my lack of jumping skills. I either left my Jordans at home or I'm just uh, logged down by the water. I don't really know what I'm doing right here. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't jump at all. Uh, sometimes a lot of people like to sit up there. They'll sit behind the windows. So if you if you do jump up here, you can you can see them. You can shoot them. I don't know if you guys know about this. You, you guys probably do already. But um, yeah, you come back. You kind of scope out where they are. Get a heads up of I don't know. Get their attention. Make them come out there. Who knows what they're doing? But at this point, they probably weren't moving anyways. You know what I mean? On the real though, this map is complete luck. It really just depended on if you hit your nades or not, if you somehow escaped those nades from the other team. Um, this map is just completely luck. It's hit or miss all the time. It really is. Uh, I've got 18 kills right now. It's three to two, they're in their spawn. Don't know what the heck they're doing. But um, yo, I appreciate all the love, dude. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you for all the recent comments. I, I'm trying to respond to everybody, I really am. So. Thank you for reaching out, giving me your input on everything. Um, I'm definitely considering a lot of stuff. So, again, I appreciate it. If you guys aren't subbed to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button, baby. Let's go. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing, man. Like, what? Why? 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 Okay, so they got a UAV. I get it. All right, cool. And then he just jumps out to his death. Like, what? If you're going to pop a UAV, like, you know, go to where the guy's at. I'm just run right in front of him, and I don't know what he's doing. But either way, they both died. This game was over. We won four to two. Um, I think I got 19. Yeah, 19. Uh, my team, you know, I think they just were on lunch or something, which is fine. It's okay with me. Either or, bros. I'll see you on the next video, man. I appreciate all the love, all the likes, all the subs. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you on the next one, boys.